Okay. Okay. <coughs> so, untuk chapter 3, kita akan discuss on <coughs> soil slope only. Eh? While for the rock slope, okay, uh, how to analyze the stability. I guess you may learn, okay, uh, under the subject rock mechanics, okay, if I'm not mistaken, eh. Okay, so for today's discussions, uh, for chapter 3, okay, uh, we may examine the stability of the slope based on the uh, soil slope only. Okay. So in this slide, okay, uh, a brief explanation okay, on the slope failure, uh, type of slope, okay, causes of failure, type of failure, method of analysis, okay, and the method for slope stabilization. Okay. So, okay. So we go for the first uh, part, okay, which is uh, under the slope failure. Okay, uh, the definition of the slope failure is the movement of mass on slope. Okay, either it is a fall, slide, flow. Okay, so flow ni lebih kepada debris flow. Okay, uh, di dalam bentuk uh, apa nama ni? Dalam bentuk uh, 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 we can call it as a liquid dia punya ni okay, dia akan jatuh flow flow kan flow maknanya benda yang boleh mengalir okay. Makanya, manakala false okay, dia lebih kepada uh, rock dalam bentuk yang bongkah okay, the fall dalam bentuk uh, sama ada witch ataupun rock fall okay. kalau slide dia lebih kepada uh, the way of the soil slope uh, slide okay on its uh plane uh, on its uh, failure planes okay <clears throat> so for the landslide and the slope failure okay uh, a little bit uh different eh, in terms of uh, the explanations uh for the landslide and slope failure okay so for the landslide it involved an extensive area, kawasan yang lebih besar, okay, uh, with a mild slope degree, which is less than 20 degree, okay, and the movement is slow and gradual, okay, maknanya dia, dia bergerak dengan keadaan yang lambat, tetapi dia meningkat in term of the volume uh, of, the, uh, of the soil, okay, so why for the slope failure, okay, uh, they will be localized, okay, uh, which is happen in limited area. Okay, normally uh, occur at the steep slope. Okay, so steep slope ni, uh, we just imagine the degree of the slope greater than uh, twenty seven or perhaps forty five degree. So, kalau awak tengok on design of slope, okay, normally dia akan gunakan terms of 1, 2, 2, okay, which is, this is 1 in term of vertical and this is 2 in term of horizontal, okay. So, dia akan menjadikan degree lebih kurang 27 degree, okay. So, ada keadaan, oh, siapa nak tulis ni? Annotation request. Iman, mana Iman, Iman? Iman nak tulis apa, Man? Iman? Oh, Iman. Iman? Hello, Iman. Tertekan. So, ada keadaan, okay, uh, dia guna istilahkan sebagai one to one. Okay. So, if one to one, the degree of the slope is 45. Lah. Okay. So, let's say if it's more than 20, okay, 
So they can they they, they classify as a steep slope, okay, which is to differentiate between the less slide and also the slope failure. Okay. So movement is fast, okay, sometimes with no sign. Okay. So in terms of volume, less like lebih besar lah banding dengan slope failure. Okay, in terms of uh, durations, okay, slope failure lebih cepat laku. Okay. Banding dengan less like. Okay. However, uh, yeah, uh, we still need to analyze okay, both of the condition. Okay. Uh, if it is happen on a very uh, large area, okay, so then uh, we need to uh, analyze based on series of analysis lah. Mari kita kena buat dua tiga cross section. Okay, uh, if for slope failure, so we can only localize on one cross section only. Okay, tapi apa ya itu kita akan go through nanti ya. Okay, so the stability of the slope should be evaluated when the slope movement due to additional loads, okay, or loss of strength is identified to cause problems. Okay, so dalam keadaan biasa, slope kita kata uh, dalam keadaan yang stable. Okay, so due to uh, a development process, Okay, ada ketikanya terpaksa kita uh, uh, do a cutting, okay, untuk kita membuat jalan, for example, okay, or we need to do a filling, okay, for example, to, to construct for a, a, a slightly higher level of the other uh, ground area, okay, so, <coughs> uh, it needs to, 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 to construct for a slope, okay, in order to uh, to do this kind of development, okay. For example, kalau kita nak buat highway, okay, so ini jalan, ini keadaan ground biasa, okay, then we need to construct, for example, an embankment, okay. So definitely stability of the embankment contribute by this two slope degree. Okay, while the rest is based on the bearing capacity. Okay. <clears throat> so, or uh, we do a cutting on the hilly area. Okay. Then after do the cutting, so we need to check the stability of the disturbed slope. Okay. So, slope, our belly disturbed dia akan potential untuk uh, melakukan perakan okay. 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 in addition okay. for example if we apply an additional loads on the top of the slope okay. so it also can cause uh, or contribute to a failure okay. another thing for example if there is a, a, a raining okay. so the raining intensity okay, if uh, extremely high Okay, so it will infiltrate inside the uh, ground. Okay, so it can uh, contribute. Okay, to an additional weight. Okay, which is contribute to the loss of the strength. Okay, so dalam slope ni, air adalah antara punca utama menyebabkan failure berlaku. Okay, so as a designer, okay, for example. Uh, for a job technical designer, okay. So first, you need to make sure that okay, you have a proper drainage system, okay, and then a proper maintenance uh, schedule later on, okay. Kena pastikan ada drainage system yang elok dan maintenance yang berkala, okay. <coughs> okay. So then we go for the type of slope. Okay, so we have a natural slope, which is undisturbed slope. 
okay, yang mana dia ada di kawasan bukit okay, uh, tetapi due to development we need to disturb okay, then in that case uh, we do a cutting or trimming of the natural slope okay. so for the natural slope uh, it is a cause due to a long term process okay, and long term process pun ataupun short term process pun So uh, it is uh, due to uh, hundred or hundred thousand or million years, okay? Dia di uh, terhasil, okay? So then we have a man-made slope, okay? Uh, which is caused due to excavation or cutting. And then uh, we construct a slope by using a filling, okay? For example, to construct for a embankment and also for the earth dam okay so based on these two type of soil uh, slopes okay so actually uh, the stability number which is s f o s factor safety and nanti kita akan belajar the man made slope okay so untuk slope stability kita akan menggunakan gunakan uh, this uh, factor safety okay. dan dia tiada unit disebabkan dia adalah hasil daripada uh, strength over strength ataupun stress over stress okay. so dia tiada unit okay. so for the man made slope the value is a little bit uh, less compared to the natural slope Meaning that we need to put a lot of attentions on the man so it's a very bit chill. Okay, berbanding dengan natural slope. Okay, so this is the cause of slope failure. Okay, we have slope inclination. Okay. So for the slope inclination. Okay, usually if we design one, two, two, okay, for example, for embankment or do a cutting, make sure it, or trimming, make sure it is one, two, two, okay. So the degree of the slope, okay, normally is around 27, okay. And then uh, we need to, and normally it is less than the value of the fee. So this is the rule of thumb. Okay. So kalau awak dapat tahu value of fee, for example, 30. Okay. So make sure that you not design for your slope, which is one to one. Okay. So if you design one to one, means that it is greater than the fee value. So most probably, okay, the slope uh, potential to fail. Okay. If, if there is an additional load due to a uh, water, okay, due to any additional load, okay, for example, from from, uh, from a vehicle, for example, okay. So make sure that uh, the stability, uh, sorry, the degree of the slope less than the internal friction angle value okay so for additional load okay of field heights okay it also contributes to the failure of the slope okay so make sure that okay for example okay if you want to construct for any structure nearby the slope okay so it should have a buffer zone okay where the buffer zone is equivalent to the height of the slope as well okay for example if the slide of the slope is three meter okay the buffer zone should also have a three meter deep, uh, distance between the building and also the top of the slope So they call as a buffer zone. So, so it means that if 
the 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 the, the building or the structure is a far, far about uh, same height of the slope, so it will not uh, uh, sit okay, on the potential failure plane. Okay, they take a look at the potential failure plane. Okay, can go through nanti lah. Okay, this is based on the Hong Kong punya uh, uh, guideline. Eh? On the Hong Kong guideline. Okay. <coughs> So then we have a excessive pore water pressure, okay. So air saya kata tadi mainkan peranan, okay. Uh, kalau ground water level tinggi, okay, dia akan menyumbang kepada uh, potential failure, okay, for the slope. Okay, sebab dalam slope, beban or the weight of the slope contribute to the driving force. Dan diving force ni akan menyebabkan pergerakan yang berlaku ke atas slope tersebut dan menyumbang kepada failure. Okay. So kalau air tinggi menyebabkan dia pun memberi uh, value, added value okay, for the slope uh, failure plane. Okay. Tapi yang tu kita go through nanti. Just, just a very brief uh, how to explain on the cause of the slope failure. Okay, so then a loss of shear strength, okay, means that uh, on the slope, okay, soil play the important uh, characteristic, okay. So, kalau soil tersebut, dia punya shear strength, kekuatan dia berkurangan, okay, dia akan contribute to the slope failure, okay. So, on the loss of the shear strength, okay, First, it is due to the weathering. Okay. So, yang ni banyak berlaku kepada rock punya formations. Okay. So, maknanya daripada dia adalah grade nombor 1. Okay. Dia boleh turun kepada grade nombor 6. Grade nombor 1 ni adalah fresh rock. So, dia boleh turun apabila dia terdedah kepada agent uh, lulu hawa ataupun weathering agent. For example, water air, temperature okay. so dia akan menyebabkan uh, weathering grade tu akan uh, increase okay. Okay. kalau dia pergi pada nombor 6, seolah-olah dia adalah dalam keadaan residual punya soil okay. mana tanah yang asalnya datang dalam keadaan uh, rock, dia boleh berubah menjadi tanah okay. so then liquefaction Okay, liquefaction is due to the uh, earthquake punya uh, event. Okay. So, liquefaction ni menunjukkan bahawa tanah okay, apabila berlaku gegaran, okay, dia akan berubah sifat dia seperti dalam keadaan liquid apabila air yang berada di bawah akan naik ke atas. Okay. <clears throat> so then we have a water okay, uh, due to the infiltration which is contribute from the rain okay and also seepage which mean that uh, the movement of the water inside the body of the soil okay. so air itu akan bergerak okay. Uh, jika ground water meningkat okay, dan berapa kelebihan berapa kelebihan berapa kelebihan okay. okay now we discuss on the type of failure okay we have three type of failure this is the typical type of failure for the slope okay <coughs> So the, the first one is the wedge failure, okay, and usually it is a uh, referred to a failure for a rock slope, okay. <clears throat> so usually occur on the weak plane or weak joints, okay. Normally joints we are referring to a characteristic of a rock slopes, okay. 
market. <clears throat> then we have a circular failure or non circular failure. Okay, so this is usually uh what we call as for uh, and for a uh, for a finite slope. Okay, we call it as a finite slope. Eh? Tidak boleh banyak awak tengok apa maksud the finite slope. Uh, circular failure are associated with homogeneous soil conditions. Okay, non-circular slip are associated with non-homogeneous conditions. Okay, so maksudnya kalau homogeneous ni material dia adalah satu material yang sama. Okay, for example, uh, the total uh, soil at uh, that particular slope consists of, for example, uh, 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 sandy clay. Okay, so keseluruhan slope tersebut adalah sandy clay. Okay, then for example for non-circular slip, I see with non-homogeneous condition. So so for example for this infinite slope, okay, they have a combination of two type of soil formation or soil layer. Okay, mungkin atas ni clay, bawah ni adalah sand for example. Okay. So that is a non-circular slip uh, failure uh, approach. Okay. okay. Then we have another one. Okay. They, we call as a transitional failure. Occur when the form of failure is influenced by the presence of weak layer. The failure surface tends to be plain and roughly parallel to the slope surface. Okay. So for this case, Okay, uh, it is uh, usually happen on uh, what we call as on a infinite slope. Okay, so infinite slope, it doesn't have toe and also top. Okay, or relatively, okay, the, the surface length is greater than the height of the slope. Okay, terlampau besar. So the mean length. Okay, is is really greater than the height of the slope. So that's why uh, it doesn't show any toe and any top. Okay. And it also depends on the type of the uh, what we call uh, of the of the failure. Okay. For example, okay, if it is a finite slope. Sorry, uh, finite slope. Okay, this is we call as infinite. Eh? Maknanya soalan menggambarkan dia adalah infinity. Eh? Okay. So kalau for example for this case, okay, uh, we consider this is a finite slope. Okay, let's say it has what we call as a parallel uh, failure plane. Okay, so we also can carry out uh, analysis by using the transitional failure approach okay. which is uh, usually uh, to represent for an infinite slope punya uh, method analysis okay, okay. so <coughs> for this subject okay we only uh, look on circular failure and also on the transitional failures. Okay, so this is the type of failure. So kita nampak di P dalam keadaan bongkar. Okay. So which ni kita istilah sebagai bongkar lah. Macam yeah, potato wish. Okay. So kita istilah sebagai dalam bentuk block. Okay. So then, okay, this is the circular failure. Okay. <coughs> So, so it is a typical type of analysis for a slope uh, uh, in finance, sorry, for a finance slope, okay. So, kita akan tentukan kat mana kedudukan uh, point of origin, okay, then kita draw this uh, circular failure. Okay, dengan pastikan the radius is similar. 
for both sides. Okay, and then from there, you need to get what is the length of this uh, uh, circular arch or arch. Okay? So the width should represent only uh, the soil of the slope within this region. Okay. okay. So that's why W, okay, W is the width and it contribute to the driving force. We call it as a driving force. Okay. Manakala yang menahan, okay. So based on concept of moment, kan, awak belajar kan, kalau yang ni dia akan pergi ke sini. Okay. Manakala yang akan menahan dia daripada dia bergerak adalah the strength, okay. Uh, of the soil and usually it is uh, 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 considered within the, the uh, below the line of the failure plane. Okay. So, yang ini akan dikontribute oleh uh, shear strength. Okay. So, yang ini kalau ikut the concept of moment, dia akan pergi ke arah sini. So, the difference between the driving moment and the resistance is the same. hari nanti, kan? Okay. And this is the example of a typical uh, slope failure okay, uh, for the finite slope. Okay. So, kalau awak perasan, ini adalah M40, 7. Awak dah, awak dah masuk ETM belum? Kita tak sure awak dah masuk ETM Sebab kita dah 2 tahun uh, Apa nama ni? Uh, belajar secara Online kan? Okay So this is the M47 Okay, so this is the uh, A slope okay, In front of the M47 Okay, and it happened I'm not sure uh, last five years, okay, and this uh, this look fail, okay. So this this is not a proper way to protect or uh, as a temp temporary protection punya method lah. So it should the blanket should cover okay, the whole of the slope surface. Okay, so this is the wrong example lah. Kita saja buat supaya orang tak ikut. So UTM saja buat supaya orang tak ikut. Kan, kalau tak, susah nak bagi contoh Macam mana cara yang tak betul So kita GTM sanggup Menunjukkan contoh Macam mana cara tak betul untuk uh, Temporary surface protection lah <coughs> So then the last one is the Translational uh, translational failure okay. So we imagine that is uh, what we call it as a, a, a weak uh, layer. Okay. So due to this, this weak layer, so uh, it um, contributes okay, for, 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 for the rest of the uh, slope to fail. Okay. And due to this image, okay, try to represent the failure of the infinite slope okay, due uh, be, and we, we could not see it clearly okay, because uh, in uh, sorry uh, relatively okay, the length of the slope is greater than the height of the is greater than the height okay. so saya pun tak boleh tunjuk kat mana uh, failure tu berlaku okay. tapi dia berlaku dalam keadaan uh, uh, happen okay, when there is a weak plane okay. so untuk check stability okay, for this uh, what we call as this uh, infinite slope okay. so we need to image we need to uh, derive an equation by imagine there is a presence of a weak layer. Okay.
Okay. So nanti kita akan go through lah in terms of the equations. Okay. So we have three types of failure. We only discuss on the slip circular failure and also the transitional failures. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So now we move to the principle of the slope stability analysis. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, we just imagine, okay, this is a, a, a one, a, this is a, a, which is this block represent <clears throat> of a soil, okay, on a slip uh, failure plane. Okay, so this will be the degree lah. Okay. Theta, theta, okay, the degree of the slope. Okay. Ataupun yang ni digunakan alpha lah. Okay, they call as alpha. Okay, sliding will occur, okay, if the shear stress develop exceed the corresponding shear resistance of the soil. In this case, failure is assumed at a certain plane. So, this plane, this certain plane, actually is the gradient of the slope. Okay, so kalau berat bongkar ini, okay, melebihi daripada uh, resisten yang mampu ditahan daripada bongkar bergerak okay. jika lebih besar maka akan berlaku gelongsoran terhadap bongkar tersebut pada failure surface okay. so uh, we call it as a tau okay. and also this is also a tau okay this is tau f ataupun tau m okay. <clears throat> so uh, the ratio between shear stress over shear resistance okay. so it govern the uh, what we call as the factor safety okay so for the natural slope, okay, the factor safety okay, is less. Eh, sorry, it's, it's a range between 1.25 to 1.4. Okay. However, for factor safety for a man-made slope, okay, uh, it should greater than 1.5. Okay. So, it's saya tersilap sebelum ni. Saya kata man-made slope lebih rendah. Sebenarnya man-made slope lebih tinggi disebabkan dia dah dia consider as a disturbed uh, slope why natural slope we consider it is not a disturbed uh, slope so uh, it should range between 1.25 to 1.4 it cannot be one okay so one we call as a, a critical uh, factor safety okay for example if one let's say if any additional load on the top of the slope okay tiba-tiba berlaku contoh burung duduk atas contoh burung yang berat duduk atas slope so dia akan contribute to the additional load which is contribute to the increment of shear stress okay so sebab itu tidak boleh menggunakan factor safety equal to 1 should it should more than 1 which is 1.25 or greater than 1.5 so that that is the principle okay and from there they come up with the equations okay nanti kita akan go through how they derive the equation okay, okay. <clears throat> and for the slope stability analysis okay, it rely on the approach of limit equilibrium methods okay so for this limit equilibrium method Okay, where I have mentioned previously, the factor safety is the shear strength of the type of failure compared to the shear strength acting at the plane, okay, which is the tau F over tau M, okay. So, if Fs is equal to 1, then the slope is in a critical conditions. Okay. So, kita tak naklah keadaan ini, diambil kira, it should greater than 1 actually, okay. At the time of failure, 
the shear strength of the saw is fully mobilized along the failure failure plane. So the shear strength is represented by the more column criteria. Okay. So dalam slope analysis, okay, either we may consider a total stress approach, or we may use the effective stress approach. Okay. So usually, okay, the total stress approach is used when we want to consider or we want to estimate uh, the stability under a uh, uh, short term. Okay. Short term ni maknanya dalam jangka masa yang sekejap dan dalam jangka masa yang cepat. For example, okay, uh, the load due to the uh, completeness of the uh, any building or any structure on the top of the slope. Okay. Why for the effective stress analysis, it is referred to the uh, long term analysis. Okay, mana jangka masa yang panjang. Okay, and usually the effective stress analysis will provide a lower factor safety value compared to the total stress analysis. Okay, so as a engineer, okay, uh, we may use the conservative value, which is the lowest value where it can cover for the uh, higher value. Okay? So for example, if the factor safety is here, is 1.6, <coughs> while if the factor safety by using the total size resistance is two, okay? so it's better to use 1.6. Okay? So kalau awak guna dua, tiba-tiba <coughs> factor safety dia, yang, ataupun dalam keadaan dia failure, dia berlaku pada 1.6. So dia tidak, cover uh, <coughs> keadaan pada 1.6 tapi kalau awak menggunakan 1.6 tapi failure dia berlaku dalam 1.8 for example okay. so soalan awak cover 1.8 punya value because you are using a lowest or lower value okay. uh, in your design Okay, <clears throat> so method of analysis. Okay, we have two type of method of analysis. Okay, the first one is the linear method, uh, which is relatively simple. Okay, so normally a linear, maksudnya satu garisan lurus. Okay, this is linear punya approach. Why non-linear? For example, we using a circular punya uh, failure plane. Okay, so for linear approach, uh, methods okay usually we use for the infinite slope okay slope yang yang saya beritahu tadi tu infinite slope okay or linear failure plane punya approach okay for example if this is your what we call it your your finite slope then there is a a, a linear failure plane happen due to the uh, the 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 condition of the uh, soil Okay, where it has a uh, uh, a linear 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 failure plane punya condition, or due to the uh, uh, less compaction effort on the embankment, okay, and it occur a linear failure plane punya uh, area, okay. So analysis for the case of uh, uh, phi U, okay, undrain condition, and which failure analysis we will not be covered eh, in, in this example. Okay. Then we have here non linear methods, okay, which is method of slices, okay, necessary for irregular slope geometry, non uniform soil condition, and seepage in soil. Okay, so for non linear methods, it is more comprehensive. Okay. Sebab apa? Sebab dia boleh consider the seepage in the soil. Okay. Uh, for this linear methods, only infinite slope analysis only consider for the uh, seepage in the soil. Okay. However, it is assumed the seepage is parallel to the slope surface, which is in reality it doesn't it doesn't uh, exist. Okay. 
Okay. So in finite slope analysis. Okay, yang ini dah melibatkan calculation. Uh, sebabkan saya ni kat rumah saya tak ada dia punya notes untuk this uh, example. Okay, menggun kita kan menggunakan example dot prof. Uh, Dr. Kamarudin and also Dr. Noli Gofar. Okay. So, I, I, I think I could not proceed, okay, uh, for, for this discussion on the infinite slope because uh, I need to show uh, some calculation. Okay. Uh, however, the, that calculation actually uh, inside my desktop, okay, in, in the office. So kita akan go through nanti, okay, uh, in terms on how to uh, calculate the stability of an infinite slope, okay. So so saya saya tunjuk ringkas saja, okay. Infinite slope analysis, this is the formula, okay. So then they they propose what we call as a simplified punya formula, okay. Maknanya dia ringkaskan based on condition okay so for uh, my my advice okay please do not uh, rely on this simplified punya formula so it's better for you to use this what we call as this raw uh, raw raw we call as a raw equation okay um, actually based on this raw equation they simplify and then however this uh, equation okay, only applicable for example without a water for example eh? okay. sebab dia tak ada element of uh, a water there okay. okay oh sorry sorry uh, um, this is uh, allow uh, for a water if the water is assumed or the water is located at the surface of the slope. Okay. So what happened if the water is, for example, two or three meter below the surface? So we cannot use this formula. So that's the limitation if we rely on the, what we call as on the uh, simplified equations. So yang ini dia hanya cater untuk soil ataupun sorry water at the surface of the slope. Yeah. So that's why for me it's better to rely on this raw equations. Okay. So then uh, kita boleh kira what we call it the, the critical heights. Okay. When the factor safety is equal to one. So we can count for the critical height. Okay. So this is the equation of the critical height. Okay. Actually, untuk dapatkan this critical height, okay, the tau f okay, is equal to the tau m. Okay. So whatever equation okay, in the tau m okay, and the tau f, okay, so kita masukkan saja. Dan at the end kita keluarkan the hitch at the left, while the rest is the uh, is the, the is the combination between the tau f and the tau m, and then we move the hitch at the left, so or we move the z at the left, so then we can get the critical height. Means that the the slope is considered at a critical factor safety okay so that is the height that we can construct the slope okay <clears throat> so kita boleh construct the slope for example if the critical height is equal to 18 so we can construct the slope up to 18 meter but at the end if any additional load okay lay on the top of the slope so it can make the slope uh, feel okay. okay okay so finite slope with a linear failure plane okay yang ni saya katakan tadi 
due to the lack of uh, compassion effort, okay, or if the slope uh, as is, uh, uh, if the slope has an uh, linear failure plane, okay, so we can use this kind of approach, okay. So this is the formula okay, that we may use. Okay, we, we may go later on, okay, based on the example. Okay. <clears throat> okay, then this is the equation for the linear failure plane. Okay, so the width of the uh this slope area uh we should count. Okay. So we need to have a good understanding of sign sign is mesti faham the concept of trigonometry so I can say I can go through later on okay so this is the slim, simplified factor safety equations okay so this is the critical condition okay yang mana apabila fs is equal to 1 so then they can come up with the uh, height at the critical level so this is happen okay for if there are two type of uh, soil layer okay so we we may we may uh, we may uh, consider only the upper layer okay it's assumed to slide along the interface between the two layers so we may consider on the upper layer only okay so this is the circular slope failure okay so we have a superficial which is the 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 erosion uh, on on the surface okay then we have a shallow and we also have a deep so it depends on uh, on on how we determine the 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 most op optimum factor safety value okay so kita basically kita tahu sama ada dia fail as a shallow or a deep failure okay okay Saya rasa saya, saya stop setakat ini saya dahulu sehinggalah kepada circular slope failure. Okay. <coughs> Nanti the next discussion kita akan go through this uh, slide. Okay. So this slide is only to share uh, what approach that usually uh, been used. Okay. While the example in terms of the calculation will be discussed by using Dr. Noli Gofa reference book, Dr. Kamarudin reference book as well. Okay. So I guess uh, we stop our today class. Okay. Uh, on the discussion until the circular slope failure. Okay. Nanti saya share attendance punya QR code. So then uh, you may scan later on okay. so untuk next punya class which is on the monday okay. so uh, although the monday is a public holiday okay and we only have balance of three more weeks uh not not count this week okay so then uh, uh i would like to have a class on the on the monday morning okay we try to start at eight until 10 boleh apa awak dengar je kot nanti nanti at the end saya akan upload dia punya dia punya apa recording version okay okay so with that we we uh, we we meet on the next monday okay perhaps for for your second test okay so we will set on the next two weeks okay which is on the next following monday eh? okay so for for your second test it only cover for your chapter two which is on the consolidation and compressibility okay okay so doctor, see you doctor monday eh? uh, assalamualaikum and good doctor. evening Doctor.